Step 3. Creating Curtain Walls In this step, we will create normal curtain walls where the curtain wall will actually function as a wall as opposed to a window structure. We will also edit a curtain wall in the 3D view by displaying its environment to help with design decisions. Activate the first preset view in the 3.3 Curtain Walls folder of the Navigator view map. Continue creating the curtain walls from step 3.3.1 through 3.3.5 as performed in previous steps. Always first activate the appropriate preset view. Check what the favorite view calls for, and then activate the required favorite from the list. Finally, click at the three points in sequence as called for by the labels, and then specify the height and bottom level values for the new curtain wall. Please zoom in very closely to the points of labels 1.1 and 1.2 if you see other existing or already created elements nearby. Do this because you may accidentally click to another element if you don't zoom in close enough. Activate the 3.3.6 preset view from the Navigator view map to open a section view. Activate Curtain Wall 20 from the Favorites list. Make sure that the chained polyline geometry method is activated in the info box. Click on the points of labels 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, and 1.5 to specify the location of the curtain wall. Please note that label 1.4 points to the same location as label 1.3. This double click will finish creating the curtain wall shapes polyline. At the Place Curtain Wall on a Section dialog, select the Second Positioning option. In Sections and Elevations, curtain walls are created relative to a vertical plane of the section or elevation cut plane. Enter 25-10 in the first text field to specify the distance of extrusion for the curtain wall in 25 feet and 10 inches. Finally, click the Place button to place the curtain wall. Activate the 3.3.7 preset view from the Navigator view map. We are now back on the floor plan and our curtain wall is placed. Activate the arrow tool from the toolbox. Select the curtain wall pointed to by label 1. Right click anywhere on the floor plan and select the show selection marquee in 3D menu command from the context menu. If the curtain wall is not visible, click the Fit in Window button located among the buttons to the left of the horizontal scroll bar of the 3D viewpoint. Activate the Orbit Navigation mode at the bottom of the 3D window. You can also hold down the Shift key and the middle mouse button for the same result. The Orbit Navigation mode lets you freely rotate and move around the curtain wall in 3D. Right click anywhere in the 3D window and in the Appearing Context menu, select the Go To Floor Plan menu command to return to the floor plan viewpoint. Since the curtain wall was placed based on the location of the section line, we'll need to move it a bit to its correct location. With the curtain wall selected and the arrow tool active, click on the bottom edge of the outline of the curtain wall body. Activate the drag command from the appearing pet palette. Move the cursor down along the appearing guideline, which is perpendicular to the edge of the curtain wall. Move the cursor until it reaches the edge of the composite wall and the perpendicular sign is indicated by the smart cursor. Click again to complete the drag operation and move the curtain wall to its correct location. Finally, click anywhere to deselect the curtain wall Activate the next preset view in the Navigator view map to edit a previously placed curtain wall. We will edit the curtain wall appointed by label arrow 1. Let's continue this exercise in the 3D window. 
activate the next preset view to display this curtain wall in its environment in 3D. Zoom in to the closest curtain wall and select it with the help of the arrow tool. Notice that the Edit label appears in the middle of the selected curtain wall. Click this label to edit the curtain wall in 3D. Notice that only the selected curtain wall is displayed regularly. The rest of the building elements are displayed with transparent colors. This is to help with the 3D editing of the curtain wall by displaying its environment to help with design decisions. Zoom in to the curtain wall using the scroll wheel of the mouse. You can also activate the Orbit Navigating option to rotate the view if necessary. Notice the curtain wall's Edit Mode display palette at the top left corner of the 3D window. Click the eye icon in front of the panel label to hide the panels of the curtain wall. Certain frames are not needed for our design, so we will remove these. Please note that boundary curtain wall frames cannot be removed but they can be set to be invisible. There are six horizontal panel bands and three vertical panel bands. Move your cursor over any horizontal frame located in the leftmost vertical panel band. Two command buttons appear that let you select entire rows or columns of frames. As you move the cursor, the pre-selection highlights all the frames which are to be selected using that button. Move your mouse over the left button to select the entire column of frames and click this button to select all seven highlighted frames in this column. Press the delete key on your keyboard to delete all the selected frames. All selected frames will be deleted except the two boundary frames. Select the whole series of vertical frames, second from the right, by moving your mouse over one of them. Then, click the rightmost of the two appearing selection buttons. With the Shift key held down, click each of the two longest selected frames to remove them from the selection. Select the Edit, Delete menu command to delete the selected frames. Select the two vertical frames that remain from the last operation using shift clicks. Open the Curtain Wall Frame Selection Settings dialog. In the Frame Type and Geometry panel, set the Frame Intersection slider to 4. Click OK to close the dialog and deselect the frames by hitting the Escape key once. Activate the Arrow tool and set it to Entire Elements Selection Method. Make sure that Quick Selection is turned off. With this method, only elements that are entirely within a selection polygon will be selected. Let's select all frames around the leftmost long vertical plane. Make sure all these frames, but no other frames, become selected. In the Favorites palette, double-click the CW Boundary 1 Favorite to apply its settings to the selected frames. Notice the results in the 3D window. Press Escape to deselect the previously selected elements. Please do this after each of the following editing operations. Now, select only the series of vertical frames that is second from left by clicking on any of them and clicking the rightmost of the two appearing buttons. Open the Curtain Wall Frame Selection Settings dialog. In the Frame Type and Geometry panel, set the Frame Intersection slider to 16. Click OK when done to leave the dialog. Select by shift-clicking the top horizontal boundary frames, which are still dark gray in color. Also, select from the right vertical boundary frames the two that belong to the smallest horizontal panel bands. In the Favorites palette, double-click the CW Boundary 2 Favorite 
to apply its settings to the selected frames. Press Escape to deselect the frames. Select the Edit, Find and Select menu item to bring up the Find and Select dialog. Click the Criteria Set Name button and select CW Frame Zinc Plus Boundary from the My Criteria Sets part of the appearing list. The stored criteria will be loaded into the dialog. Click the plus button in the lower right corner of the dialog to add elements meeting the criteria of the selection. All boundary frames with the assigned material Metal, Zinc, Dark will be selected. Open up the settings dialog and set the selected frames intersection slider to a value of 3. Click OK to apply the changes and to leave the dialog. Exit the Find and Select dialog and press Escape to deselect the selected elements. Make the panels visible by clicking on the eye icon next to the panel category. Make sure that the Quick Selection option of the arrow tool is active. Select the leftmost long vertical panel. Assign the CW Panel 1 Favorite to this panel by double-clicking the Favorite name in the Favorites palette. Select the two thinnest horizontal panels with the gray boundaries at their right edges. Assign the CW Panel 2 Favorite to them. Select the two long, thin, horizontal panels in the middle of the curtain wall. Assign the CW Panel 3 favorite to them. Of the four remaining vertical panels we have not modified yet, select the two on the right side. Assign the CW Window 1 favorite to them. Click OK in the Curtain Wall Editing menu to accept all changes. Switch back to the Floor Plan view to see how the Floor Plan representation of the Curtain Wall has changed to reflect the design developments we've completed in 3D. We could customize all other curtain walls we placed using the methods of the previous steps. However, we've prepared these steps in advance to save time. Activate the last preset view located in the current folder of the view map. In this view, all curtain walls are placed and modified to their final specification.